All right, hello. This is called the GPS assignment. We want to compare modes of transportation. We want to compare walking versus bicycling versus taking an, a vehicle. And we're learning about um, different inventions along the way, along history, and how that affected society and how it affected us. So we're going to do a little a GPS work. Um, so let's go to the Dollar General because we want to go to a store near us, okay? And <clears throat> we're going to go to a general store who sells a little bit of everything. Then we'll go to Dollar General and the store locator. I'm going to search uh, my hometown. You want to search your hometown. Okay, so type in your hometown and or the town nearest you, and then click that. Um, I want to go to the one right here. This is the one nearest to where I live. So I'm going to highlight that right there. I'm going to copy that information. But then I'm going to go to Google Maps. When I go to Google Maps, um, I will go right here to where it says search Google Maps. I will paste um, that information. I just copied that by Dollar General and click search. Okay. <clears throat> it's going to put... Um, find the Dollar General. That's it, the one near my house. And I want directions to that from my house. So I'm going to click directions. Then I want to um, type in my house number and you want to type in your address. Okay. All right. And then I click on my address and it gives me directions, but I want walking directions. So let me move my face over a little bit. It says walking directions from, I'm gonna click the little walking man and it tells me I need to get this information. How many minutes I will walk. So I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna walk for 45 minutes. I'm gonna walk for 2.3 miles. So I need to write that down also, 2.3 miles. This is my information. Your information will be a little different from your house to your Dollar General. So 2.3 miles and 45 minutes, okay? Now, I'm going to compare that to how long it'll take me to bike there. I'm gonna click on the bike by the cycling icon and it's the same amount of miles because I'm going to the same place. So I don't have to, I don't have to write the miles down again, but I want to tell the time. It's gonna take me 13 minutes to bike there. So I'm gonna write down 13 minutes. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the car for the driving icon and it is gonna take me four minutes to drive there. So I'm gonna put that in my chart. So I'm going to go to the modes of transportation um, and how many miles to the store? Um, well, to the store, it was 2.3 miles. And then up to Dollar General, I'm going to walk there in 45 minutes. I'm going to bike there in 13 minutes and I'm going to drive there in four minutes. Okay. Then I'm going to go back and find out how far is it to school? How long would it take me to walk to school, to bike to school, and to drive to school from my house? So then I need to go back to, um, let's go back to Google Maps right here. And so I have my house. Instead of Dollar General, I'm going to delete that and put News Charter School. And there it is. It popped up. And I'm going to now see how far it would be to walk there. Oh, so I have new information now that is from my house is going to be um, 5.6 miles. I need to write that down. Okay. And then I need to write down, it's going to take one hour and 51 minutes to walk to school. Oh, I better leave early if I want to get there on time. To bike to school, it would take me 29 minutes. I write that down. And to drive to school, I click the driving icon. It takes me 12 minutes to drive to school. That's probably why I drive to school so I can um, get there quicker because school starts at 8. If I have to walk to school, I have to leave my house at 6 and walk for two hours and then walk back home. So, if I wanted to bike to school, it'd take me about 30 minutes to bike to school. And, um, and then I could 
gave a good exercise. All right, so that's how you do the assignment. And then you go back into this um, here and you put your information that's yours from your house to the Dollar General near you. And then you put the information from your house to the school. Okay, it's going to be different numbers than mine because obviously we don't live in the same neighborhood. So um, then I would put my information down here and it's going to take me walking. I'm looking at my chart where I wrote that down. One, how many minutes? Oh, one hour and 51 minutes. So one hour, 60, 60 plus 51 is a, uh, what is a lot? 151 minutes. Is that right? No, 60 plus 51, 60 plus 5 or 6 is 11, 111 minutes to walk to school. Whoa. Okay. Um, cycling minutes it will take me 29 minutes. And driving minutes is going to take me 12. Okay, then I need to answer this question with five sentences. How have inventions in transportation improved our lives? I'm talking about bicycles and cars. How have bicycles and vehicles improved our lives? I need to write a five sentence paragraph, put my name on my paper, okay? And you're gonna do yours and click submit. Thank you. If you have questions about how to do this, go back and replay this video to show you where to get this, um, what, what to click on and what to do.